The film you are about to see was produced as a troop information film. Although this study of communist deception was made for a military audience, we think that you, the American public, will also find it pertinent and enlightening. People are smart. A lot of people say having Russia, which is a power, uh, having them inside the room is better than having them outside the room. By the way, I think a lot of people would agree with me, frankly, but possibly not. I... That was the voice of the Kremlin, or rather, one of its voices. There are lots of them around the world, speaking in every language. America is the major obstacle that stands between the grave digger and his intended victim. Here is target number one for the Reds. And who's in the bullseye? You are. The key word is conflict. Outside of the Red countries themselves, conflict must be promoted everywhere. Every dissatisfaction must grow into a resentment. Every resentment must become an argument. Every argument must grow into a fight. Every fight must blossom into a riot. Every riot must expand into a war. Do you think that right now the nation needs you to express that same sort of comfort and healing that some people need to heal? Right now I think the nation needs law and order. For the communists, there must never be a compromise. It's a lot of radical left bad people. Exploiting this tragedy to loot, rob, attack, and menace. Hatred, chaos, rioters, looters, and anarchists. Violence and vandalism led by Antifa. Radical left wing groups terrorizing the innocent, destroying jobs, burning down buildings. Never a settlement of disputes. Professional anarchists, violent mobs, arsonists, looters, criminals, rioters. Antifa, dangerous thugs, domestic terror, anarchy, hatred, chaos, rioting and looting, destruction and arson, riots and lawlessness spread throughout our country, rioting, looting, vandalism, assaults, and the wanton destruction of property, terror, Antifa, and others who are leading instigators of this violence. One law and order, and that is what it is. One law. We have one beautiful law. Only conflict. It was very easy for them. In Minnesota, as you know, we took care of that situation. We took care of it very easily. Once they came in, it was like a knife cutting butter. It was so easy. I watched these protesters. For there in the ruins, communism finds its chance. Call me. We'll be ready for them so fast. Their heads will spin. We did it in Minnesota. They were ripping that place apart. And I called the governor and the National Guard went in. And one night, it was over. You don't see the problem in Minnesota now at all not even a little bit you have to dominate the streets you can't let what's happening happen did you notice how the slander progressed from the gum chores to juvenile delinquent to black marketeer to thug gangster murderer from you should be laughed at to you should be shot in just a few easy steps how's your sense of humor now but wherever there is poverty unemployment Disillusionment. I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. There is also despair. And where there is despair, people may listen. Uh, to anyone, to any plan that promises a change. Well, maybe your window turned out to be a door, didn't it? Not mine, those yeah. scientists! Oh, the scientists! Yes, the scientists! Yes, the scientists! Going against his forbidden rules of old. Walking on the moon! Yes! Yes! Or, or splitting his atoms, or, 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 or stem cells and abortions, and destroying the secrets of life that only God above has any right to. No, we are being punished. The judgment is being brought down upon us. The fiends of hell, you see, they are let loose, and star wormwood blazes, and it is his fault. Yes, no. it is your fault. No.
can fix it. I am your voice. I will restore law and order to our country. I'm going to make our country rich again. Masks. I have one with me. It's, it's my prerogative. There's no COVID. It's a, it's a fake pandemic created to destroy the United States of America. If I die, Every I day. die. Every we got to get this country moving. We got to get this country moving. We must immediately suspend immigration from any nation that has been compromised by terrorism. In all countries with stable government, civil liberties, and reasonable prosperity, communism makes little or no headway. That's one reason for the Iron Curtain. It keeps free men from seeing too much inside, and it keeps the slave world from glimpsing freedom. Back of that Iron Curtain is the biggest captive audience in the world. They don't have to sell them, just tell them. They care very little for any of the destruction they are leaving in their wake. We must test for the virus in order to stop the spread of it. What At worst, worst case scenario, it could be the flu. I feel like the more I learn about this, the less there is to worry about. I was about to say the same thing. We don't have immunity to this virus. It's a new virus. It's a pandemic strain of a virus we haven't seen before. In reality, without a vaccine, the flu... People don't realize we lose 25,000, 30,000 people a year here. Who, who would who would be far more deadly? We are facing an incredibly contagious and dangerous virus that is moving across the world from one hot spot to another. We're going to call out anyone and everyone who's using this virus as a political weapon against the president. The standard flu every single... We lose 25,000, 30,000 people a year here. Who, who would... Ever year kills tens of thousands of Americans. We are now entering what will be the crucial defining 15-day period as it, as it relates to this virus, where we must slow the spread of coronavirus. It's actually the safest time to fly. Everyone I know that's flying right now, terminals are pretty much dead. We have a responsibility to slow down this virus and to think of other people during this time. And so if you can keep your distance and prevent someone from getting close to you that might be sick, you could save yeah. your family, you can save the elderly and help our country as a nation. It is absolutely disgusting that Democrats are seeking to use this complex virus to score cheap political points. This dangerous health crisis could dovetail quickly into a political crisis, already feeling economic ramifications of it all. And what did they hear about themselves? Well, let's listen. May Were you really surprised that looting and arson accelerated to murder? How shocked are we that 17-year-olds with rifles decided they had to maintain order when no one else would? Conflict. Sickening, sick, ugly alignment among so many of the powerful elitist groups in this country. You got the Democratic Party there, 99.9%. You got weak Republicans, you know, the ones that always demanded conflict must be promoted everywhere. In the hands of Democratic politicians, climate change is like systemic racism in the sky. You can't see it, but rest assured it's everywhere and it's deadly. And like systemic racism, it is your fault. The American middle class did it. They caused climate change. They ate too many hamburgers. They drove too many SUVs. They had too many children. A lot of them wear t-shirts to work and didn't finish college. And that causes climate change too. And worst of all, some of them may vote for Donald Trump in November. And if there's anything that absolutely definitively causes climate change, and literally over 100% of scientists agree with this established fact, it is voting for Donald Trump. You might as well start a tire fire in your yard. There must never be a compromise. Never a settlement of disputes, only conflict. You get the picture? It all depends on the party line. In the crazy world of communism, today's friend is tomorrow's enemy. Today's hero is tomorrow's traitor. Bergdahl, you know Bergdahl, right? Traitor, he's a traitor. Remember the old days and the old days being deserters. Boom. In the old days, deserters were shot. Boom. Firing squad. No, it's true. Bing. And it goes quickly, right? It's called, it's called, you're dead. Treason. It's treason. There are a lot of people out there that have done some very, very evil things, very bad things. I would say treasonous things uh, against our country. If you look at Comey, if you look at McCabe, if you look at probably people, hi people higher than that, if you look at Strook, if you look at his lover, Lisa Page. It was treason. It was really treason. And that's what it is. It was treason. This is actually treason. You're just lucky I happen to be the president because a lot of other presidents would have reacted much differently than I reacted. They have unsuccessfully tried to take down the wrong person. That's treason. That's treason. Treasonous. Okay? Thank you very much, everybody.
Lavrenti Beria, chief of the Soviet secret police, hero of the people, shot as a traitor. Today's hero is tomorrow's traitor, Rudolf Slansky, leader of the Czechoslovakian Reds, hero of the people, hanged as a traitor. Laszlo Wright, leader of the Hungarian Reds, hero of the people, hanged as a traitor, and then found innocent, cleared of all charges, but too late. And here is the hero of heroes, genius, the benevolent father of all the Russians, who has been declared the greatest traitor of them all. Well, if you hear enough of this kind of gossip planted by the communists, enough phony rumors of America's secret plans to launch a war, enough big lies, little lies, and medium-sized lies, maybe you'll begin to believe some of it. Maybe you'll begin to wonder if there isn't some truth in it. Maybe nobody really likes us. Maybe the world really thinks we're imperialistic warmongers. Maybe, maybe. Well, that's what the grave diggers want you to think. Because if you do, you're halfway in the bag. If you know propaganda for what it is, you are protected from its lies. Not only that, you can take measures against it by giving the lie to the enemy at every turn. How? By realizing a simple fact that in foreign eyes you are the image of America and by conducting yourself accordingly. The fact is that every free nation in the world looks to America as the bulwark of liberty. The fact is, behind the Iron Curtain are millions of people to whom the voice of America is the only voice of hope in a world of darkness. The fact is, in the exchange of war prisoners after Korea, 27,000 one-time communists refused to go home after one glimpse of freedom. The fact is that all along the Austrian border, the Czech border, the East German border, every day, every hour, people are slipping across, swimming across, crashing across to freedom telling their pitiful stories in the refugee centers, asking only that they be allowed to stay on our side of the Iron Curtain. If you heard a thousand or two of these stories, they'd begin to get monotonous. You'd think, isn't there an end to this? No, there is no end. Not until communism ends, under the weight of its own evils and its own lies. Our cause and our country can never be defeated unless we ourselves fail to uphold it. And that can never be as long as we act like Americans. And remember these words, I will never forget that I am an American responsible for my actions and dedicated to the principles which made my country free. I will trust in my God and in the United States of America.